Watch you guys got another video. A new Windows 11 feature lets you reinstall Windows without deleting your data or your programs. Now, for many, many years, people will have an issue with Windows, and of course, they will need to reinstall Windows at some point. And of course, what that means is you'll need to back up your data or you would end up losing it. The same thing goes with your programs. But Microsoft have been working on this nice little tool that comes built into Windows 11, which is going to allow you to reinstall Windows and basically keep all of your data and programs. Now, it goes without saying you should always back up your data because Microsoft are never responsible for your data. That is your responsibility. But if we go into this insider build here and go into the settings and then system and look at this section right here, it says fix problems using Windows updates. You can see right here. It says reinstall your current version of Windows, your apps, files and settings will be preserved. That means no more resetting all of your settings, no more resetting all of your apps and reinstalling them and no more having to back up all your data because this will take care of it. We will repair components and system files. If a repair solution is available, we'll attempt to fix the system component corruption by reinstalling the current version of Windows your apps, documents, and settings will be preserved. Please make sure your PC is on and connected to the internet and a power source after installation will let you know when it's to restart your PC and complete the process. Now, basically what this means is it's gonna be doing some sort of in-place upgrade of your operating system. So like downloading your ISO file and attaching it or mounting it to the system and then installing Windows. This is basically going to be doing all of this on the back end. So what you're going to get is a reinstall of Windows and get it working again without disrupting all of your programs and all of your data. Now, so many people have wanted this for years where they don't have to reinstall all of their programs. And it seems Microsoft have finally delivered with a, a feature that is going to be useful for a lot of people. You can see now I've started the process off and it's gone off and it's started to get all of the downloads that it needs for this rebuild. You can see we do have the Windows 11 Insider Preview right up the top. That will be the version of Windows that you're on. When you do the reinstall Windows button, it's going to go ahead and pull all the files down that it needs. Now, of course, you will need to have an internet connection because it's having to download the ISO file from Microsoft's website. So no more worrying about what type of Windows you've got and uh, whether you need to go and look for that version of Windows. Microsoft is going to take care of that once you hit the reinstall button inside here. You can see now it's saying the option is currently unavailable. This is because it's working in the background. You don't have to do anything. You can continue to use your computer. It's basically uh, working in the background. It will tell you you need to restart windows and you can see the installation process is now already started here this is not the full installation it's just starting to get things ready for the real installation when we restart windows and it will come up on the screen here in a second where it will say you need to restart windows there you go pending restart we can now restart windows and it's going to go ahead and do a bunch of upgrades to our system just as you would back in the day when you did a repair install or you did an in-place upgrade, which they call it now, it's going to go ahead and do all this for you in, in the back end for you, and you won't have to do anything. You can see here, updates are underway, 0% complete. It will take a bit of time to get all this done. I'll speed this process up, but then it will say, please keep your computer on. Obviously, it's working, and it needs to have the computer on to complete this task, and now we have 100% complete. It's going to go ahead and do a few more uh, reboots you might see the system reboot a couple of times that's pretty normal so we're going to restart here and during the restart it's going to go ahead and uh, basically you should see something like you would when you're installing windows where it's going to prepare everything so you see working on updates again please keep your computer on and it says uh, the computer may restart a few more times but just let that do its thing and when that's done we should be back at the desktop exactly how we left it with a fresh install of windows with all our data intact and all our programs still intact and no settings have been reset 
And this is something that the community have been asking for for quite a while to be able to keep their settings and keep everything as it is if they have a problem with Windows without having to reset everything and redo everything. So it's going to get this all ready now. You can see this is just like you would do on an install. It's going to start building uh, your user profile with all your data and everything and start getting that all ready. And once that's done, you should get the uh, desktop populate on the screen shortly. And you should get a few more little messages here before we get to the desktop. I've cut some of this stuff out to save a better time. And then once we get to the desktop, you will see it's exactly how we left it. Probably a different wallpaper and a bunch of different stuff uh, like updates have been added in and also the fixes have been done. So I'm almost there and we should shortly see the desktop. There we go. All done. So the desktop background has changed and that's because it has got Bing desktop background uh, automatic changer on there. Now you can disable that if you wish. But I do think that's quite a nice little wallpaper uh, changer that they have on the Bing site there. So you can see now we've had the operating system updated and reinstalled. And again, it's all working correctly. We have no problems here. And this is going to be the updated version here. But everything has been kept. Your data and programs have been kept as well. We're still on a local account and all your settings will be as is. They have not changed any of those. Another thing to mention is at the moment, I'm not sure if this is just going to be a one-time deal because as you can see here, this is now grayed out. And uh, as you can see, you can only do this once as of in this test of this video. On the release of this, it could be used multiple times. I really don't know what the final decision will be from Microsoft. Again, one time, get out of jail free card. It might be a useful little feature for someone if... Uh, they have a problem with their windows again i would like to see this doing this multiple times that will be really really useful if we could use this many many times over and over rather than just a one-time deal anyway that's the new feature for windows 11 coming real soon sometime early next year and again i think it's a long-awaited uh you know update from microsoft to give you a feature that is quite useful rather than having to reset this pc where it doesn't, doesn't back up your uh, programs and you end up having to reinstall all your programs, which is basically you may as well back up your data and do a fresh install. Other than that, I think that's about it for this video. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Let me know in the comments section down below what you think of this new feature and whether you would find this useful or whether you think it's just another load of waste of time from Microsoft. I would like to read your comments. I do read all the comments, but sometimes I can't reply to all of them. Anyway, with that said, I hope everyone has a lovely Happy New Year and I shall catch you in the new year for more new videos. Anyway, just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members. I do appreciate the support and I shall catch you in the very next video or I'll catch you on the Discord server for a chat. Bye for now.